gonna be okay? I'm good, right. honey. All right. You know, I'm, I can talk about movies. You give me two seconds, I can talk about <laughs> movies. The ones I know uh, are Observe and Report uh -huh. and Ghosts of Girlfriend's Cast. Uh-huh. Okay. Yahoo. I don't want to, like, race, rush, but the closer okay. to three minutes we get that. Oh, That's I can do that. Awesome. I'll do that. And then a, a TV show, maybe? <laughs> maybe. New Mix 1079 80s 90s now. Pink and Mark Dancer 826 Tuesday. That is new DVD day. And the Mix Flick Chick is in the studio. Kelly Gingry, good morning. Good morning, Mark. What is out today? Well, let's see. We've got uh, Matthew McDoomy. I mean, Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> My friend calls him that. Isn't that bad? That's naughty. But, you know, come on. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew McConaughey and Jennifer Garner in The Ghosts of Girlfriends Past. I remember this. I don't remember it doing a huge box office or getting rave reviews. It did not. Okay. Because, it, seriously, okay, Matthew McConaughey, Jennifer Garner, the title, Ghost of Girlfriends Past, you know what it is right there. Right. It's, it's him with all the girlfriends that he's had right. and he's been through, and she was the one that got away. Yeah. Michael Douglas is in it. He plays, like, the, the uncle. Oh, it's a good cast. Matthew McConaughey is kind of the playa playa. Playa. And uh, he gets a walk through his... Uh, Past. Shallow past. Yes. Okay. And so, pretty much, you know, you, we could have written that movie. The, you know? I mean, you and I could have written that movie. Um, so, I think it's eye candy, because he's a good-looking guy. She's a right. cute gal. Yeah. And um, I think it's fun if you like romantic comedies, because, come on, seriously, who does not think that they're going to end up together? In this movie. Right. I mean, do you really think that she's going to go, no, you're a player, I don't want you. <laughs> yeah. I don't think she's going to say that. He won't see the error of his ways. <laughs> he won't. It'll no. just be a shallow cat. Yes. All right. So I think, I think, and it's, it so is it's, what it is. It is what it is. And it, you know, if you like that kind of stuff, go for it. Okay. Matthew. The other one is Observe and Report. And yes. uh, this is like, there were a couple of mall cop Flicks, one uh -huh. was the cute, cuddly Paul, Paul Blart, Blart and uh, Kevin James. And, this uh, is not Paul Blart. No, this is Observe and Report, yeah. and it's Seth Rogen. Yeah, and you know what? This actually was a little bit different than people expected, because uh -huh. they saw Seth Rogen in the cast, and it's they thought... He's up, he's the, uh, you know... So right, the um, Judd last. Apatow yeah. guy. That, uh -huh. Well, guess what? It, it's a little bit darker than okay. people thought, okay. because he kind of is uh, manic-depressive or whatever, and there are a couple scenes that are kind of inappropriate, as far, like for younger kids, like some preteens and stuff wanted to see it. Oh, okay. It's rated R, yeah, and, rated and, R. And, and Anna Ferris plays a mall worker that he has a crush on, and, you know, there's some stuff. So I'd say this is not for young teens or anything like that. But for the dark comedy kind yeah. of adult-themed crowd, does it do its job? Is it? I think it does its job, but really it did not do very well because people went expecting something that it yeah. wasn't. Okay. You know, you see Seth Rogen and you think, I'm not yeah. saying it's bad, but it's just, it's it's a little darker than people thought. Okay. That's what I got. Okay, observe and report. Yeah. And then a couple of good TV shows out on DVD. Yeah, The Mentalist. The Mentalist. Are you familiar no, with that? Tell you me. know what? Simon Baker is an interesting actor, and he uh, has been in movies, a lot of movies. He's a good-looking guy. He's an Australian good-looking guy and yeah. a great actor. And they this show kind of snuck in, you know, on CBS, and it was the hit of last season. It got huge ratings. Okay. And I think it, it, with TV it has a, to do with where they place it, the time right. slot, and what the lead-in is, and all that kind of stuff plays into TV shows and why they're hit. But this was huge, and it was unexpected, and so they're really expecting big things from this. Good. The show. Mentalist, season yeah. one on DVD. Mm -hmm. And then the show that just won uh, Emmy for Best Comedy. Yes, 30 Rock, season three. And, I mean, who doesn't? It, even, I mean, Alec Baldwin uh -huh. and Tina Fey together are just classic. Yeah. I mean, I love them. Yeah. So they're classic. Okay. And I do want to say one quick thing. There's also a thing on DVD now that's coming out today called Paul Newman, The Tribute Collection. Nice. 13 of his films. Wow. It's about 63 bucks. But seriously, I mean, Butch Cassidy, The right. Tearing Inferno, yeah. two that he made with Joanne Woodward that are classic, The Long Hot Summer and From the Terrace. Oh, my gosh. Talk about chemistry, which I talk to you about all the time. Yeah. He I and Joanne Barry. Woodward. Uh -huh. <gasps> Yeah. The Long Hot Summer. Seriously. Yeah. Okay. I what love What was the it. prison one? What was the one? Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. What we cool Hand Luke. Yeah, there we go. <gasps> That's not in this collection, oh. but that is classic. Okay. Cool Hand Luke. I mean, Paul Newman, seriously. So some good stuff. Oh, lots of good things out there. All right. Seriously. We podcast The Mixed Flick Chick online at MyMix1079.com. Yeah. And uh, Kelly will be back Friday morning to take a look at the weekend, new movies. Some good opening. stuff. Okay. Good stuff coming. Thanks, Kelly. Okay. It's The Clash, Mix1079. A little shorter? Why?
points. What are you doing? Four? Yeah. Less than did, five? It was 420. <laughs> and, uh, now I feel like I'm on like a, a race. That's what I don't know. No, 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 no. Like not that. in a bad way. But like. Yeah. I feel like it'll be good for us to tighten it up and, and uh, you know. And, and I still feel like we we gave everybody the gist of what right? we were doing. So yep. awesome. Okay. Awesome. I'd love to hear you say that. <laughs>